Hello, Mioni here, and welcome back to another developer blog update on the Japanese Final Fantasy XIV Lodestone page. This is in regards to what I was referencing in a previous video, where we wanted to talk about the new introductions to 4.3's PvP. Moroguchi, the project manager behind PvP, posted this blog in relation to the announcement of the Feast Regional Championships 2018 that are taking place at the fan festivals next year. They say that PvP content is about to get more exciting from now on, and they would like to introduce PvP related items that are releasing with 4.3. So first of all, the Feast Crystal Tower exercise area is getting a map adjustment, and this is apparently in direct response to all of the feedback they were getting on the new map, and this is what the map looks like now, which is much more rectangular than uh, it was before. It was spherical in design previously. By simply looking at the screenshots, the shape of the map has been changed. I think that the turnaround and strategy will change drastically by map adjustment, so please enjoy the new Crystal Tower exercise ground completely renewed. And apparently the background music will increase in pace and drama as the danger time gets even more exciting with the music, the music will get even more exciting with it. So they're getting a full rework of the music in there, which is something cool I guess and are giving the heads-up display a massive renovation in the feast, including such as adding a header showing the number of possessed medals and displaying the party list of the enemy team. You'll be able to visually check the HP and MP situation of every enemy on your enemy team and the state of additional actions and debuffs. Of course, you will be able to not only check the enemies, but also the adrenaline bar of all of your friendlies as well, which means better tactics for certain situations. Also, on the party list, you can change the, the position of the target of an enemy team member with up and down of the L1 plus a direction key, as well as being able to change the target with mouse click as well as enemy ally. With this, they were hoping that it will be even easier to target the enemy than ever, so please try it out. There has been no custom match for teams in custom match up to now, but dedicated ones are prepared with 4.3. In this custom match for team, team names and team crests will be reflected in the heads up display, and so on, just like team ranked matches. Practice matches between teams will be even more exciting. Apparently they're refurbishing the custom match party recruitment. Up until now, recruitment for parties were unable to recruit parties from the spectator's frame when doing the feast custom match. The recruiting party will be able to do recruitment even inside the personnel frame. In this way he thinks it'll be easier to organise the events organised by players, so please make use of it by all means. Casual matches can be applied for two parties in order to make it easier for you to invite friends who have never played the feast before. This is to make it easier for you to invite friends and start playing the feast together. Then they talk about the frontline roulette basically. Basically you get to go into one of the three different frontline experiences including seal, rock, capture etc. On a daily basis these will rotate around. And that's the main PvP update content coming with 4.3. It's a bit broken English but from what I can see here it's trying to get more new people into the feast and try it out and try PvP out in general. The new frontline daily rotation is going to be helpful to people. Hopefully that fixes some of the Q issues having better rewards for that because you get mendacity and other items like you would a dungeon roulette anyway but obviously for further encouragement they're including the mount that I previously talked about which is the floating yellow node that you can float around on the Allegan sphere and that's going to be a reward from the new frontline daily roulette as well you'll probably be take part in or win certain amount of them to be able to get this whenever there's a new mount people go ham for it so I'm sure this will be just the same and that's pretty much the whole dev blog so I'll link this in the description for you to look at in your own time. I've probably missed a few things because obviously I don't speak Japanese and Google Translate is pretty bad. Either way, thanks for watching and I'll see you all next time.